Hey guys, I'm Dr. K. I'm a family and cosmetic doctor and I make YouTube videos in my spare time. In today's video, I'm taking a bite out of the luxury designer bag market and exposing it for what it really is. Hold on to your edges, girls, because I'm going in and I'm not taking any prisoners. The luxury goods market is booming. Many people are making the switch and now buying more high-end pieces like Chanel, Dior, Hermes, LV. People are spending their hard-earned money on these bags for a variety of reasons. Part of which is the idea that these bags might potentially go up in value and that you'll be able to recoup your money back if you were to sell it at some point in the future. A so-called investment, if you will. In fact, many blog articles and fashion YouTubers advise women to do just that, to invest in luxury and they claim that these pieces are the best quality have a low cost per wear and will elevate your look but do these claims really hold out on closer inspection what is an investment generally speaking an investment is the process of putting money into something that will hopefully grow in value and return something back to the investor this return is usually in monetary terms as a profit. What's a designer investment bag? A designer bag is basically a bag that has high quality and high desirability. Buying a premium designer handbag means buying a quality piece that will last in the long term and that you intend to use well. So now we know what classes as an investment. I'm now going to go into the reasons why a designer bag is not an investment. Number one, inflation. It's easy to look at all the glossy magazines, the fashion blogs and the YouTubers telling you to buy and invest in the latest it bag of the season. And the numbers do agree. You can see how prestigious fashion houses like Chanel and Hermes have increased their prices year on year. And what used to cost $1, as if, has now virtually doubled in price. Any clever person would think to themselves to buy now and then sell it later on for a higher price. But have you considered inflation? What is inflation, I hear you ask? Inflation is the silent killer of all investors. It's the reason why the price of a loaf of bread has risen from pennies to pounds. So are you really making money when everything around you is also going up? Number two, designer handbags go in and out of fashion. There's a saying that something is only worth what someone else will pay for it. Fashion is a notoriously fickle beast. One minute you're in, next you're out. Especially in today's world of micro trends, which fly out within weeks. I know that prestige brands like Hermes, Chanel and Louis Vuitton may hold their value. But styles change so quickly nowadays, who's to say that that particular classic bag will still be all the rage in five or even 10 years time? The reason why these bags maintain their value boils down to exclusivity and desirability. That's taking a big chance on what may or may not happen further down the line. Unless you're prepared to play the long game and wait for the bag to come back in style at some point, which it may, or may not do. Number three, designer bags aren't as easy to sell as you think. There's a term in finance and investing circles that is referred to as liquidity. In this world, cash is king and therefore cash is the most liquid of all assets because you can easily exchange it, you can use it to buy things and it's accepted worldwide wherever you might be, whether you're in Timbuktu or Siberia. So liquidity refers to how easy it is to turn an asset that you own into cash. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how many bags you have in your collection or that you painstakingly built your collection from the ground up if when the time comes you have a difficult time selling it. Selling designer bags are a hard sell for a variety of reasons. You have to keep the bag in a pristine condition. No one will buy a tatty and dirty bag at full price. This means that you would not be able to use the bag freely which is annoying and essentially why you buy the bag in the first place. The other reason is authenticity. In order to command 
top dollar for your bag, you have to prove it's a genuine item. You have to keep all the receipts, the certificates and packaging. You may have to pay to have it authenticated and this eats into your profits. Another reason is scammers. Just because you're an honest person doesn't mean that the person you're selling to is. The worst case is losing your highly expensive bag and not getting paid for it. So in order to avoid this problem, you may end up having to go through a licensed reseller or a consignment store who will handle payments and do all the verifications for you so you don't get burned. But unfortunately, this doesn't come for free and reseller websites charge their own fees, which may be as much as 50%. You may also end up having to list the bag and wait around for many, many months until you find the right buyer who is willing to pay your price. This means you can't access the money when you need it. Number four, brands matter. I want you to come close. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Not all designer bags hold their value. I want you to think about that whilst you're in the stores buying up those Jacquemus bags, those Bottega Veneta bags, and coach bags. If you think you'll be able to sell these bags and that you'll recoup your money, I've got a surprise for you. The thing is, in the luxury bag world, there is a hierarchy. Basically, at the top of the list are Chanel and Hermes bags. And if you own these, then chances are you could still sell them for a reasonable price in the short and medium term. Unfortunately, other bags, especially the trendy pieces, the it bags, tend to fall off a cliff in terms of price. They lose up to 50% of their value once you buy them and take them out of the store. Kind of like buying a car. Ask me how I know this. Against my judgment, I got myself a Givenchy Antigona mini bag, which retails at the time around £1,200. I used it for a handful of times and decided that it wasn't really for me. So I decided to let it go to a better home and sell it after six months. Guess how much it eventually sold for? Guess. I want you to just guess. 400 pounds. Yup, it still hurts to this day. Okay, so it's not all bad news and I'm not saying to never treat yourself and buy a luxury designer bag. If you are looking to buy one, there are some things to keep in mind. It's important to have the right expectations. Don't automatically expect to sell them for a profit because this may not happen. But although designer bags may not be good financial investments, they can be a good wardrobe investment that will last the test of time, especially if you go for quality items. The absolute rule I do have is that buying luxury bags should be based on your disposable income. Never go into debt in order to buy luxury bags. If you are looking at ways of creating income, rather than investing in expensive handbags, I'd suggest for you to look into other investment opportunities, such as stocks, index funds, or property, which can all be done no matter what your budget is. This is how you secure the bag for real. So what do you think? Let me know of your experiences buying designer handbags and how it worked out for you. Or if you're planning on buying or investing in one of these bags. If you've liked this video, then I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and sticking around and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.